Hi all, I have another amazing game to show you of Leela Chess. This is from the Chesscom Computer Championship, Rapid Rumble, against the And Shucks. And Shucks is like Andorra in combination with Chess, which is Shucks. So And Shucks 0.94 Chess Engine. Uh, so let's have a look at this game. The first four ply or half moves, the English opening, Knight C3 G6. So nothing too out of the ordinary here. Leela plays knight f3 now. We have bishop e7, e4. So it looks as though it could transpose into a king's engine defense. If black, for example, castled, this would be a standard king's engine defense position. But Anshax plays c5. Leela plays d4, challenging the central uh, d4 square immediately. Queen a5, quite a tactical response. Frankly, then knight takes e4. Uh, an alternative is pretty standard c takes this position is uh, a smaller edge for white with the Moroxy bind style pawn structure okay but uh, yeah queen a5 we have bishop d2 c takes d4 knight takes d4 black just castles here knight c2 queen c7 bishop e2 b6 so black's got a kind of hedgehog style formation it hasn't committed d or e pawns yet or well, usually it would be sometimes the d pawn moving uh, but here things are still flexible bishop e3 bishop b7 f3 supporting that e4 pawn and you can see that white's structure here it also kind of is a triangle like pawn formation in a way uh, and that center that center file that white can maybe intensify pressure on. we have knight e8 queen d2 queen d6 black is wanting wanting the exchange of queens here we have bishop d4 causing black a major concession actually uh, black played actually e5 it provoked that concession pawns do not go backwards an alternative for black say taking on d4 simplifying uh, this kind of position is comfortable for white. Uh, this is just a fictional scenario. Say we get this position, where still that nice triangle uh, pawn formation uh, gives white a lasting bind here on the position. In fact, the triangle can, can be ex exaggerated with B3, can literally like focusing on on the D5 square here. Uh, this is just an example uh, idea ideas just focusing on that d5 and white would try and change the pawn structure favorably so in this fictional continuation uh, if ever there's knight takes d5 then there becomes an e7 target so this this would be very very comfortable for white this is just the scenario which i was checking out very fictional so if black's ever compromising the king side then it, it becomes very strong anyway that's going a bit far from how this could transition to something even more favorable but uh, for whatever reason, black didn't want to simplify here. <clears throat> black played a very, very committal pawn move instead of simplifying e5. So in classical engines, often they play committal moves because in the short run it might seem good, but the longer term is, is questionable here. We have knight b5, so no exchange of queens now. On bishop e3, then an exchange of queens, and white would have a small edge. But uh, we have knight b5, queen e6. Now the bishop drops back. f5. Now again, this is also committal. It's kind of opening up the black king, really. It is putting pressure in the short run on e4. But in the longer term, this could spell some big issues for black's king safety here. Uh, a less committal move again, for example, knight c6. If we just have a look at this scenario white still though here gets to play g4 so anytime f5 we can take and get that g file so this might be undesirable this kind of scenario and even taking like this to get two rolling pawns and then white's plan in this structure is actually very uh well i've got an example where this diagonal can be kind of made the only route to the black king i'll just show you what i mean so if we squeeze with a form pawn then that route to the king is even more sensitive there's uh, less air for the king and we just try and break open that diagonal here this would be an example crushing idea just to break open the diagonal bang end of game nearly so yeah 
if white gets its own way yeah this would be very very dangerous anyway g4 h4 so this f5 trying to put more pressure on white center but white takes that leader takes that and we have g takes another committal pawn move if we look again at a peace alternative uh, this situation same that even tries e4 opening up that bishop it's just ignored e takes there's always um, knight takes d knight um sorry bishop takes f3 and if here then there's knight d4 instead of g takes uh this this would be even but instead g takes so that if bishop takes there's knight cd4 and then white gets a big advantage going on that diagonal so this this will be very tricky even though it seems fairly liberating it's not all an upside here if taking with the queen and playing for e4 it's not that advantageous uh, so we have g takes f5 kind of hanging pawns but also a slightly more exposed king potentially white castles queen side and now bishop h6 which is supported of course by the queen there this looks very unpleasant to go into a self pin and now e4 here so is this all very nice activity for black look at the bishops they look in one sense there's a nice crossfire of the bishops right is, is black doing well uh, this doesn't seem to be a big issue for black but okay let's look at an alternative before we go into that f4 is very committed again blocking in that bishop but just for the record this is now threatening knight c7 this scenario is unpleasant uh, there's a big lock on that e4 square and black's not going to have too much counterplay there so we have e4 okay knight d4 queen f7 now a key move which kind of opens up black's king position i wonder if you can guess it if i give you five seconds to pause the video here white to play great move of course g4 just rip open that g file we have f takes g4 and it looks as though hold on a sec isn't this a big problem because this knight's pinned this pawn's pinned surely guess what what does leader play here it just takes on g4 letting this bishop go fantastic it's a fantastic uh tactics as in the service of strategy here or attacking chess so queen takes f2 was played uh, otherwise a knight's going to be on f5 anyway if for example king h8 a knight comes to f5 and look at this sensitive diagonal as well this position we take out that bishop all of a sudden the dark square bishop is running rampant this is this is a nightmare for black white's getting a very good attacking position in these variations especially with that dark square bishop the center could collapse it's nasty so yeah black takes this bishop move though g5 this is the point if the bishop retreats then there's this rook move and the queen uh, is running out of squares uh, now there is a square actually queen h4 actually also there's an intriguing resource actually white has to be careful here to be fair with um, not playing this because this actually allows equality off to e3 yeah for think e takes d2 check and this position gives the black queen e4 and after which black's equalized so white in this line with queen h4 has to play this knight keeping that e3 under lock and key and yeah if queen h3 then there's bishop g4 trapping the queen for sure but it's also important to check out rook takes knight takes queen h3 here white has queen f4 this is crushing uh, for example knight c6 knight check g takes installing the form pawn yeah the dreaded form pawn in this variation then it's just mating with the form pawn time so yeah the whole thing is just absolutely losing for black if we go back here if the bishop just retreats we can see then that it's absolutely losing after this uh, from this position so anyway uh black after this g5 doesn't want any of that and takes on g5 
and we have rook dg1 queen h4 and now rook g4 and black is losing the piece back if the queen goes here then white just doubles basically and then takes that anyway uh, otherwise if by the way h6 then rook takes g5 check we just take the queen like that so rook g4 is forcing black to give back the queen if we look at queen h6 there's another example here then we just take on g5 and it's nasty up to queen c3 this diagonal is also it's really painful especially without the dark square bishop now this is just like crushing absolutely crushing so queen takes g4 yeah leader's got her material back and still with a big attack h4 rook f1 and now expanding on the queen side as well here depriving the knight of c5 queen h2 that bishop is pinned of course to f8 at the moment d6 we have bishop dropping back a5 b5 bishop c8 an exchange of bishops and now queen h3 hitting the rook removes knight g4 bishop g7 an exchange of another pair of rooks uh well one pair of rooks rather first pair queen f1 king g8 queen g2 king h8 queen takes e4 yeah this is too much for black to handle uh the black pieces just cannot cope with the pressure on the queen side the queen side is melting down so there's a past b pawn now uh knights come off yeah this is just a technique now that b pawn is lethal just be herded through with the queen uh queen f7 well he's potentially now hitting h5 as well check here rook d4 check now rook takes d5 desperate yeah it's it's gone the position there's there's too much pressure on black here so this is just totally it's totally resignable of course the game's really over and uh, let's just see how it finished going to the death they are under promoting to a rook <laughs> and now yeah it's checkmate time so yeah that was a really interesting attacking game uh, from a comfortable position black started making some committal pawn moves which actually kind of opened up the black king that peace sacrifice just underlined all of the vacuum that black was leaving that g file was lethal winning back material immediately then squishing on the queen side for a bit and the queen winning b6 creating that pass pawn yeah the black pieces could not cope with that so a great game from leela there with the white pieces from a normal semi-fair well no actually <clears throat> nearly completely fair opening this time to be fair okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much